Welcome back to PTL. We are here celebrating National Bowtie Day. We're at Knott's Land, and I'm joined by the mastermind behind Knott's Land, Nisha Blackwell. Nisha, thank you so much for having us, and happy National Bowtie Day. Thank you for having me. Happy National Bowtie Day to you, too. Exactly. So now <laughs> tell us about, you are, this is your this is your baby, right? You started this from its infancy, uh, and now have built this remarkable business. Tell us a little bit about Knott's Land. Yeah, so we started in 2015, and we really started off of the basis of having a sustainable, creative option in the market. When I was looking for sustainable products and to be more sustainable, it was not a lot of, there weren't enough espresso pieces for me. So Nasland really became that opportunity and that sort of piece in the market. Now tell us about some of these. You offer so many. There, there's not just one kind of bow tie. There are many, many kinds of bow ties. Tell us what we're looking at right now. So right now you're looking at some of our collections from this year. We have our spring and summer collection with some vintage fabrics. And we also have our most recent feature collection, a black and gold collection, uh, in partnership with the Jaquan Lavender Foundation. This is an organization that works with middle schoolers to help provide them with resources that they need throughout the school year. And the proceeds go towards supporting that initiative. And now also tell us about this beautiful bow tie that you're wearing. My favorite bow tie, I must say. Uh, this is a lavalier. It's an ex exclusive piece that we make. Um, we make collections only biannually and on a limited edition basis. We have what we call the Lavalier Club. Shout out to anyone who is a part of the Lavalier Club, um, who people sign up and they actually get instant access to the collection once it's released. Wonderful. Now, it's not just uh, pre-tied bow ties. You also have had many requests for these self-tied bow ties, the traditional, what people think of as a traditional bow tie, and you're in the process of producing these? Yes, yes. So we are testing the self-tied bow tie market right now. And we've all also have been challenged throughout the years to develop a self-tied bow tie that was expressive as our pre-tied bow ties, but also sustainable enough to really be a part of, like, make sure that we're not a part of creating more weight. Some orders and you all things. I understand we've got a nice beautiful set of bow ties that are just about to go out the door for a wedding. Yes, yes. So our current like big bread and butter is weddings right now. Uh there I'd say small are our big surges in weddings and we've been really fortunate to do some special pieces throughout this the seasons and the years to contribute to a big special day and some means a lot. To us. Nisha, thank you so much. It is an honor to be here at Knott's Land in Wilkinsburg for National Bowtie Day. And I got to say, guys, I just, there's just something about putting a bow tie on. I've never worn one and it feels so great. What do you guys think? I think it looks great on you. And I love this great. idea of wearing bow tie. I want a bow tie. Yeah, in fact, I feel left out. I didn't realize what today was. Katie, you look awesome. You're rocking that bow tie. Yeah. And it's really cool if, for your special day to get a locally made bow tie mm -hmm. if you are getting married what a it's, neat idea it's literally one of a kind yeah and she has such incredible design she's yeah. so talented